The GMAT is changing for the very first time since 1997. Welcome to this video on the GMAT Focus Edition. If you are an MBA aspirant, you're probably familiar with the GMAT that's administered by the Graduate Management Admissions Council, the GMAC. The GMAT is changing to a version called the GMAT Focus Edition. In this video, I'll tell you about the GMAT Focus Edition, its new features, how we can impact your GMAT preparation, and why it was created to begin with. The GMAT Focus Edition is also a computer adaptive test in that the scores increase or decrease in difficulty as you go along based on how you're testing. The focus edition focuses on the business skills and concepts that are actually what schools want to test for. Registrations for the focus edition open August 29th and testing begins in Q4 of this year. So October, November, December of 2023. Official prep materials will be available starting June 6th of 2023, and the old GMAT will continue to be offered through early 2024 if you're already preparing for that. The GMAT Focus Edition has only three 45-minute sections, making it almost a whole hour shorter than the older GMAT. The sections are quantitative reasoning, verbal reasoning, and data insights. There is no essay component in this version of the GMAT. So the GMAT Focus Edition is 2 hours and 15 minutes, whereas the original GMAT was 3 hours and 7 minutes. So let's look at some changes to the quantitative reasoning and verbal reasoning sections. The quantitative reasoning section no longer contains data sufficiency DS questions, only problem solving questions. And the verbal section no longer has sentence correction, only reading comprehension and critical reasoning questions. There's a new data insight section, because there's three sections now, quantitative reasoning, verbal reasoning, and data insights. The new data insights section leverages the data sufficiency question format from the former quantitative reasoning section and the integrated reasoning question format, which used to be its own section. This new section will require math, analysis, verbal reasoning, or all three and you can use an on-screen calculator during the section. Okay, scores and score reporting. The highest possible score for the GMAT Focus Edition is 805, and all three sections are weighted evenly towards your total score. And you'll know that the original exam, the highest total score was 800, and it was made up of just your quantitative reasoning and your verbal reasoning sections. You don't need to select your schools before you take the GMAT Focus Edition. You can select up to five schools for free in the first 48 hours after you receive your score. So we talked about the new section. Let's talk about some of the new features. Some of the new features include question review and edit, section selection order, easier score sending, and an improved score report. So why was the GMAT Focus Edition created? There are two main reasons. The first was for an enhanced test experience. The GMAT Focus Edition was created to improve the overall test taking experience by including features like being able to review and edit some of your answers, being able to select the section orders, improved score report, and easier score sending. The exam is also almost an entire hour shorter than the original GMAT. The test was created to be easier and more efficient for test takers to prepare and also take. And the second reason was the relevance to business needs. The GMAT Focus Edition was created to try to reflect some of the changing business needs. So the data insights section is to reflect the increasing need in data analysis skills. The removal of the essay section, the sentence correction section, also reflects more of a shift to practical skills and competencies. And the outcome of all of this is a shorter, more targeted, and more flexible exam for test takers. If you're already preparing to take the regular GMAT, don't worry, it's going to continue to be offered till early 2024. 
exact dates have not been communicated as of the time of this video. If you're planning to apply to business school starting next fall, so the fall of 2024, you can start to prep for the GMAT Focus Edition using current prep materials. Just in the quantitative section, don't prep the data sufficiency questions. And in the verbal reasoning section, don't prep the sentence correction sections. Although official prep materials have been announced that they will be available starting June 6th, other test prep companies will need some more time to actually create their own prep materials. So it may be a little longer after that before other test prep companies have test prep materials for the GMAT Focus Edition. Now that you have this information, are you inclined to take the GMAT Focus Edition? Are you already taking the GMAT? Are you committed to the GRE? Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious. I hope this has been helpful and informative in your business school application process. If you'd like some more resources, I have a guide, AT MBA Admissions Tips, which will really help you throughout the entire process. If you would have specific questions of your candidacy or your application that you want to discuss, you can schedule a one-off consultation on my website. You can also request to work with me on comprehensive end-to-end -end MBA admissions consulting. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Like this, subscribe to see more. As always, from New York City, I'm cheering you on.